June food storage. I cannot believe we are here. I cannot believe that 2023 is already half over, my guys. Oh my, my guys, my friends. 2023 is almost half over. That is insane. Oh my gosh. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for a, another video and another monthly food storage explanation tour plan, whatever we have going on here. Um, I am currently still trying to revamp how I'm doing things, how I'm storing things, how I'm keeping track of things, all of that. You know that if you've been around and I have made some changes this month from last month that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today, as well as taking you through both my indoor and outdoor pantry, the deep freezer. Uh, we're gonna talk through meals that I have the ingredients for and stuff planned for all of that so that hopefully this can help you to get more organized for the month of June. Now, as we all know, the kids are home from school and that led to way more expensive grocery hauls. I posted two grocery hauls last, well, one last Friday was a Sam's Club stock up haul. That one was huge. And then I posted a big Aldi stock up haul for the stuff that we like to get at Aldi um, earlier in the week. I think it was Monday. So that's one tip that I have for you guys. Don't be afraid to shop at different stores um, to get the stuff that you like and that your family likes, because obviously we want to give our kids and our family stuff that they're going to actually eat, right? So I like to go to Sam's Club once a month and Aldi once a month. My family has specific things that they like at both places. So that's really helpful to me, especially to keep us out of the drive through. A lot of people ask me often how often we do go out to eat since we spend so much money on groceries. And the short answer is we really don't. Um, we may typically on like a Saturday night, we might get takeout. We don't like to go to restaurants. It's just so expensive right now to go to a restaurant. Um, by the time we pay for our five people and tip, it's $75 or more every time. And that's at a cheap restaurant. So we've been avoiding that. So the shorter answer is we really don't. We may go and get takeout from like McDonald's or something like that, Chick-fil-A even once a week but we've been trying to do not even that and just cook everything at home. Okay, I think I'm gonna start by showing you guys kind of what I have going on in my notebook for the month of June. So let me sort of switch views here a little bit and I can show you guys what I have going on. Last month, I actually did a freezer master list and a pantry master list in my notebook here. This month I decided to do things a tad differently and I only did the freezer list mostly because my pantry, the indoor one and the outdoor one, I can see what's in there. I can physically look very quickly, see what we have on hand. Whereas the deep freezer, I hate my deep freezer. I'm very thankful to have it, but I wish that we had one that was like a standing one where I could see what was in it. So the freezer inventory is definitely necessary. So I wanted to touch on that. I did not do a pantry one this month, only the freezer. But let me show you what's in the freezer. I'm gonna point you down just a little bit. There we go and kind of show you what I'm working with here. So I just did my June freezer inventory and what I basically do is I'll go through and you know, we have seven meals for chicken, seven meals for, I'm sorry, three ground beef meals, two steak meals, and I'll literally write out every single thing that we have in our freezer. I find that this helps me, like I said, keep track of things because my freezer is just so hard to keep track of what's in there, especially like the meats and stuff. I definitely need to have this, um, you know, keep, kept track of. Now, what I did essentially was last month, at the end of the month, if I can find May's, here we go. So this was last month's, this was May's freezer meal list. And essentially what I did throughout the month was I would mark things off. So we had chicken for six meals. We used more than six meals worth, but for the most part, I would mark off things. We used all our ground beef. I would mark things off as we used it. And then when I decided, or when I went to make June's list, I basically just transferred everything over that was left. And then I built the rest of the inventory list from things that I bought at Sam's Club and things that I bought at 
Aldi the other day. So that's kind of how we're working with, but you can see here we have a fully stocked freezer. We actually do not have this anymore. We already ate that. Um, but I do have some plans to make some additional things to stock the freezer with, and I'm actually going to make a video on that. So this list down here is stuff that I want to make and add to the list, um, or to the, the freezer. I want to do some loaf bread, some cinnamon breakfast bread, some chocolate chip breakfast bread. Um, I'm going to pre-make my pizza dough for the month and then some sheet pancakes. I also want to make a couple of freezer meals. So my plan is to make um, some enchiladas, maybe two pans of those, and then also some Alfredo. And that is to hopefully keep me from buying these things from Sam's Club in the pre-made area because that is more expensive. I mean, they're like 12 or $13 a meal. So I'm going to try my hand at making these this month. And I'm actually going to do a video where we spend the day in the kitchen together and we make all of this stuff. So stay on the lookout for that. But for now, you know, we have our, you know, all of everything that we have going on in the freezer and I'll give you a peek in the freezer as well. But I like to show you my notebook just because that makes life easier. And then I do weekly tabs down here. You can see there, there's the meal plan thing. And then, you know, the last three weeks or so since I started doing this, what we're having for dinner that day and then, or that week, and then what I need to pick up from the store. So that's kind of how we've been doing it. Now, let's go to the pantry. Also, I'm wearing my cute apron today. Looky there. I picked up a couple of aprons from uh, Timu actually. You'll see those later this week if you haven't already. Um, and I have been, I'm like, I'm an apron wearer. I've been getting, uh, stuff all over me when I've been baking. So I decided to put my apron on today. So I'm fancy. I'm a real homemaker now. I'm a real woman homemaker. Okay. Anyways, let's turn this around and show you my pantry. I have an entire video where I showed you guys how I, you know, painted in here, redid the shelving, labeled everything, all of that. So if you've not seen that, I will link it below, but that's not working for me. We're going to start down on the floor. If anybody has any tips for this, something that we can put um, down here, maybe some crates. I've looked on Amazon and I just can't seem to find any that I like. So if you have a recommendation, let me know. Essentially right now, we're just storing all of our drink products down here. Um, and some are even in the garage. These are ones that we drink more like on a daily basis, but I'm going to come over here so I can show you better. Our pantry has this like weird cut out here and it's so hard to like get in here. But anyway, we just have some drinks for the month down there. We have Gatorades. Chris has been really into these protein 2 waters. He drinks one every day. Um, he takes them to work. They have 70 calories, 15 grams of protein. He loves these things. We order them from Sam's. Um, they don't sell them in the Sam's club store or at least in ours. So I order them, but that's what that stuff is there. This is my 25 pound bag of bread and pizza flour. Um, this is like the excess. I don't know where else to store it. I'm thinking of getting a food grade uh, bucket. So that's my plan for this month. Y'all help me out. I need something to put the drinks in and I need a food grade bucket. And then next month, this will look beautiful. So uh, I have some flour elsewhere that's like already ready to use, but that's just where I've been storing the excess. Some Coke Zero down there and then um, all of my drinks. So I have seltzers and these little mini frappuccinos. I actually bought these from Sam's Club last week to give them a shot because they're cheaper than the double shot. And these are so good. It's the perfect amount for me in the afternoons. Only 140 calories. I've been loving these. So um, I've had a couple of them and there's some in the fridge as well. But my drinks, Bryson's drinks and trash bags. So yeah, we need some help down here on the bottom for sure. So give me all the advice on that. And then over in this corner, a couple more drink products and then um, dog food. This is where we store our dog food. Um, and it just keeps it all neat and tidy in there. We're going to start on this side today because I always start on the other side. So the first shelf here is actually baking products. So we have different types of sugar, light brown and regular chocolate chips, which we use a lot of. And then this is two different types of flour. So the top one here is bread flour, and then the bottom is just all purpose. 
and that's kind of how I've been keeping that organized. These are vitamin energy drinks that I just restocked for the month. Chris drinks these in the morning as well. And then we actually just restocked our liquid IV as well. I love this stuff. You guys know I love it. Always have a code in the description with summer months and it's being hot. Uh, definitely check this out. This one is Chris's favorite, the golden cherry. So that's why I have these in this container because he drinks them most often. But I also have this new strawberry lemonade flavor. I drank one of these the first time the other day after my run. And this flavor is so good. So delicious. Perfect for the summertime with the, the lemonade in it. Oh my gosh. I love this so much. My code will get you 25% off your purchase. I don't like, they don't sponsor me. Um, I just have like an affiliate link. So definitely check this out. If you are interested, um, I've been with them for over a year now and I love, love their products. Moving on to this, this is sort of a, a mess, but I know what it is. So this one says condiments, but essentially it's spaghetti sauce. So I have a couple of different spaghetti sauces in here. This Alfredo sauce I bought at Aldi the other day. And then I have a huge thing of my instant dry yeast that I bought at Sam's Club that I'm going to be using. I mean, this is obviously several months worth of yeast, but um, we're going to be using this for all of the baking that we do on baking day. So Sam will look out for that. And then these little oranges, I just threw here so that they, the kids would see them. We have some of these in our outdoor pantry as well. Um, but they're like front and center. I really should put them in the snack container, but for now they're right here. And then this one is baking. So there's salt and sprinkles and cocoa powder and some cookie packets that I actually really need to make this month for sure. Beef bouillon cubes, you know, baking stuff is right here. So that's kind of what this shelf is. The next shelf up is the one that we probably use the most often. So we have macaroni. I like to store noodles and rice and stuff in boxes that I can see. So this one's macaroni. We have an angel hair pasta one back there. We have a couple things of yellow rice. We have a full one that I probably just need to put outside. We'll take that out there when we go. And then we have a almost empty one as well. I bought the full one when I was doing the taco bar dinner because I didn't want to use all the rest of mine and then not have any. Um, and then we didn't end up needing the new one at L. So we will actually put that outside when we go out there. This is not supposed to be here. It goes there, but we also have some uh, Basmati rice there. So again, I like that I can see everything. And then these are the canned goods that I have plans to use this month. So every other canned good is out in the outdoor pantry, but we have a couple plans to do sausage and rice dinners. Uh, we do black bean burritos. We also put black beans on our homemade pizzas. So we're going to use those a couple of times this month. And then there also is hidden candy back there that's mine and Chris's. We're not going to talk about that. And some refried beans here as well. And then there's a can of Rotel. So that's kind of what I'm going for with the indoor pantry stuff that we're going to use in within the next month. That's what's going to be in here. And then this shelf is pretty self-explanatory. This bucket, it's all oils and barbecue sauces and stuff like that that we plan to use over the next month. And then up top here, this is probably my least organized shelf in the indoor pantry. This is some like extra stuff. So the pancake mix, I don't want to put outside just because I don't, it's already open. I don't put anything outside that's opened um, because I just don't know, like you don't know, bugs, right? So that's inside as well as back there, there's Country Time Lemonade. These, um, this cereal here is already open because the kids tried it this Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, which is really good. It's like cake batter. We found it on clearance for a dollar at uh, Walmart. So it's confetti cake cereal. It's good. We're going to eat it. They tried it already and it's open, which is why it's not outside. I'm waiting for them to empty one of the cereal. There they are containers. This one will probably be empty first so that I can pour it in here. Um, but I didn't want to put it outside again because it's open. Chris's peanut butter crackers, we always keep up there to hide them for the kids because they can't have them my vital proteins and then uh a few i think these need to go outside as well because they're not open yeah they do so we're we're starting a little pile down here of things that need to go out to the outdoor pantry but that is this side here now let's go ahead and start on the other side because this is the biggest one for the kids for sure how all of this stuff is organized over here for them so the bottom two containers are snacks this one i like to keep like the health 
healthier, you know, as healthy as a pantry snack could be, um, snacks for them. So they have crackers. There's some fruit snacks, chewy dipped bars. These are Bryson's favorite. And then these ones are Finley's favorite, these freeze dried strawberries. So that is that bucket. And again, I like to keep one of each. So we have buckets of chips and bucket of freeze dried fruit. So this is the one that they eat out of most often. And so I like to keep these fully stocked and I will pull stuff from outside when these need restocked. So this one, we have some Gardettos, some Cheez-Its, more like chip options, and then uh, Pringles as well, which are Finley's favorite. So I like to keep something that every kid likes. Kylie likes these, Bryson likes these, Finley likes these, you know, options for all of the children. And then the next shelf is breakfast. So this shelf is entirely dedicated to breakfast items. We have a thing of Fruit Loops that I actually just refilled when I got some at Aldi, um, I guess about a week ago. I don't think I filmed that haul, but I bought another box of like the off brand and refilled that. Cinnamon Toast Crunch that we're still working through from last month. And then we have this shelf. Well, this one is not breakfast. So I lied. Those are Brookside. Those are my little treat. I will eat a couple of those in the evenings, but uh, the rest of this is breakfast. Granola for yogurt bowls, oatmeal back there that we use in smoothies. We don't eat oatmeal, um, like oatmeal, oatmeal. We put oats in smoothies and we really enjoy it that way. So I got that or in like baking, like cookies and stuff. Um, so I have that there and then my granola. And then this is the like fast breakfast. So if we're having a day that I'm not making a full breakfast, the kids can grab something out of here. We have donuts, there's chocolate and powdered back there, some Nutri-Grain bars, and then there are some muffins back there as well. So again, just easy, quick stuff for the kids to grab. And then up here we have, I mean, essentially this is stuff that I don't know how to close yet, right? So these are all chips that are open. So this is, I store them all in here. So there's like some popcorn. Um, there's, these are actually Takis that I got at Sam's, you know, all of the opened chip bags go in here so that we can keep track of them and we don't have to worry about like stuff going stale. Everything's in here. If it doesn't fit in here, we don't open it. They have to eat something out of here until it's gone. That's kind of what my role has been. We have pretzel container here and then a goldfish container there. Um, these goldfish were still working on from last month. I didn't buy any more this month because they still had that much amount. And then these are Z bars. We always keep our Z bars there. This is usually like what the kids will eat in the afternoon. And then on the top shelf up there, all the way up there, if I can get you up there, those are chips that are not opened and um, just some extra like you know, mommy stuff and dog bones. So that is what the indoor pantry is looking like. This is how it is when it is fully stocked, beginning of the month, ready for the kids to come and destroy it. So that is what this one's looking like. Let's go outside and look at the outdoor pantry. Okay, I opened the garage so that hopefully um, there would be a little bit more light in here. But on the floor down here, we have some drinks. Now, these are the drinks that we got for the taco bar party with my family. Um, so we still have a good bit of Coke and a good bit of Mountain Dew left. We don't really drink soda, so this will last us a long time. Um, I'm like an occasional Coke drinker. Chris has been drinking zero sugar sodas, so... I don't know. We'll, I'm sure we'll get through this. I might take them to the pool this summer, stuff like that. But those are going to stay there till we, you know, finish them. This cooler needs to go back there, but it just isn't. And then this is kind of how it is looking. This is a little different than last month because I am moving some other stuff out here. So the top shelf here um, is like overflow snacks and stuff. So we have more mandarin oranges, more donuts, more crackers, stuff like that. But then I also added this month just more like canned goods and stuff that I can pull from if we need it. So there's a bunch of different types of canned goods up there. I have another bag of granola, another thing of pretzels back there. And then Finley has two more of the freeze dried strawberries because she will eat these. I mean, these will be gone like next week. I'm, I swear they will. And then we also have like chocolate syrup, extra ketchup back there, that sort of stuff. The goal is to not run out of things, right? So the goal is to stock up enough throughout the month so that you aren't running out of things and you don't have to go back to Sam's Club or back to Aldi before it's time to go again. And hopefully that saves you money. Um, 
I also have one more chewy dipped bar. And then these pastas are spoken for as far as meals go. One of them is going to be um, a chicken Alfredo this month. And then one of them, the other one is going to be uh, buffalo chicken pasta one night this month. And then there is one more sealed bag of cinnamon toast crunch in there that we need to work through this month. We have more snacks here. So these two things were left over from last month, the Gardettos and the Cheez-Its. There's only a couple bags of this left, like three or four bags in there. Um, there's a good bit of Cheez-Its left. So this is definitely going to be a pool snack this month. <laughs> this is alcohol that I don't even drink anymore. I bought these when we went to the mountains in um, March, I guess it was. And this was like a local cider company in Gatlinburg. And I bought three of them and these two are still sealed. This one, that one back there is pinch, peach ginger hard cider. And this one's watermelon. I'm going to save these for like an event, like when I have people over or something like that. I don't really, neither Chris or I really drink. Um, uh, so anyway, they're just there. And then this one is something that we purchased at Sam's Club. So we needed more of these. This is the Doritos Cheetos mix. So we got those. And then the final shelf down here, we have some extra drinks, an extra thing of juice boxes for the kids, an extra seltzer water just in case I ran out. And then we have the Pringles. So the main change out here this month was definitely that I added like some canned goods and pastas and stuff like that, because I found that last month I was having to purchase some of this stuff throughout the month. And I didn't want to do that this month. So I bought a little bit extra and stocked up out here. Um, I'm going to show you my deep freezer. So you saw like sort of everything that's in it, but I'm going to show you, you know, just to get a peek of it, it's full. It's packed full, and this is exactly why I have to have the list, because otherwise I would never be able to know what was actually in here, because um, it goes so deep. One of my goals is to get a stand-up freezer this year, and to just keep this one for like meat or something that I can keep track of better. That's my goal. We'll see if we get there, but that's kind of what this freezer is looking like. Um, I guess I could stuff a few more things in there, but... As far as our list goes, I don't think we need to. And then our indoor freezer is pretty full as well. I mean, it just has, you know, all of our ice cube trays and all of that sort of stuff in it. But that's, this is more like convenient stuff. There's no meat in here. It's like frozen meals that the kids can eat quickly, that sort of thing. I hope that you enjoyed this food storage tour. I hope it gave you some tips for the month on how to plan for food for your family. Um, and yeah, give me ideas down below on the floor storage stuff. Finley wants donuts. Let's see. Um, and yeah, let me know all your thoughts. I'll open them. Hold on one second. Here, time to be a mom again. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you guys very soon. Have a great day. Bye, guys. Bye.